If you're building an app that allows users to deploy their own apps, for example, like with V0, I can click on the top right. As the build runs, you'll notice the build logs are able to stream back in and we're able to see the progress updates as the app is building. So if I go out here, I can actually see this deployed app. Well, we just deployed a new template that will allow you to recreate this exact experience. So here's the demo and it comes with three different starter frameworks you can deploy, Next.js, Nuxt, or Svelte. You can also upload your own files and deploy them. So I'll just click deploy. Now you can imagine you might be building a platform or some kind of application that allows users to input code. Maybe an AI agent is writing the code, maybe the user is writing the code. And then you wanna take that code and get it online. You wanna get a URL for it that you can share back to the user. That's exactly what this does using the Vercel APIs to kick off builds, to create the global infrastructure, to alias to the domain that you get, a .vercel.app domain or your custom domain, and then provides back that information. So we've recreated that whole experience of build logs and streaming back the logs, doing the progress indicators, all that fun stuff in the open. So this is an open source template you can clone and deploy and kind of hack around and it includes a new feature called claimable deployments that we've added to Vercel. So we deployed this .vercel.app domain. I see this iframe here kind of shows the actual screenshot using Puppeteer of what the site looks like. I'm gonna click claim deployment. So now I get to pick which team I wanna use. I'll just pick uh, my LeeRob URL and I'll hit transfer and now we can see that on my app or on my team, on Vercel, I've claimed this specific project. So I go to project and I can see we have the app that we just deployed. So you can give the users of your app the same ability to deploy to Vercel, take advantage of our infrastructure without having to manually set up all of this work yourself. If you want more detail on how it works, you can check out the source code, or we also have some steps in our docs that explain the flow, basically the specific underlying Vercel APIs that are used that you can hit inside of your application or you can use our TypeScript SDK. So it's all outlined here. And we also have a different open source template that you might combine together. For example, another part of V0 that we showed was the chat experience. So talking to some AI model, maybe I wanna say, what are the advantages of Next.js? And I can kind of stream back those responses or maybe I want to do the artifacts or canvas type experience where you can actually generate these working documents. All of this kind of build your own chat GPT. This is also open source and clonable for you to use. And one example that you might take is code generation. So you can use this template to generate code, run it in the browser as well. I can execute this code here. But the next step is you might wanna deploy this. You might wanna put a button up in the top right, similar to the V0 experience. And all of that is now open source for you to get started with. You might hear these type of applications referenced as AI agents or agent workflows. And it has a lot of different meanings, but in this instance, we are having an AI generate some code, maybe prompted by a user, and then we wanna deploy an artifact of that code. Another example is building your own Slack bots. This is another open source template that we just released where you can ask the Slack bot, what's the latest weather? It can call some tool or you can program in your own instructions to kind of go back and forth with the Slack bot. This is another type of agent workflow. And one of the actions you might want to program into your Slack bot is please go deploy this artifact or please go deploy this code that I've just generated. So I'll also include a link to this as well if you want to check it out. Now, I wanted to give a shout out to the folks in the V0 community who actually published that initial template. Um, thank you to Liam for creating this template. It's also kind of a fun example of a hidden trick for how to get the best quality out of V0. When you're trying to do an animation or something where you really need to just fidget with it and kind of tweak the knobs to get it right, asking V0 to give you the controls, give you the control panel is really nice because then you can go through and just kind of move things around until you're really happy with exactly exactly how the animation looks. So I could just, you know, I could just fiddle with these all day, but it gives you an example for your next V0 app. All right, so that's a quick demo of how you can allow your users to deploy their own applications, their own custom code to Vercel using the new claim deployments flow. 
if you try this out in your own AI agent app or your own kind of custom vCero like chat application, definitely let us know how it goes and would love to hear your feedback. Peace.